Hey everybody, uh, back again. Uh, so today I want to go over with you how to put on snow chains. So for us, we're getting ready to go snowshoeing this weekend. At least that's the plan. It's been a plan for like two weekends now, uh, but something keeps coming up. But this weekend, like really making it a priority. And with that, uh, you know, there's probably a pass that we're going to have to go over if we go where we want to go. Now we might shorten that and go somewhere else, but um, either way, we're going to be in areas where even four wheel drive usually just isn't enough to get you through. The, the grade out here is usually too high. It's too steep. Um, and then the conditions are just too bad, like four wheel drive just can't even cut it. So what we do out here is we use tire chains. Now I bought a set at Walmart. So a set has one pair in it. <laughs> um, I'm laughing at myself because I butchered that all up with my fingers. Uh, but anyway, uh, so it has one pair in it. Um, and then I have also some ties on it that help hold it tight. So I'll go through how to put the snow chains on, um, how to get all that set up. And then um, I'll sort of, explain to you where I put tire chains when I get into bad weather, um, front versus back, and sort of why I do that and when I do that and how I do that. Um, so we'll go over that like sort of if you are towing, if you're not towing, um, and just some general ideas. Now, always read the manufacturer's recommendations, follow proper procedures that comes from the person that, or company that made the snow chains. Um, you know, do all of that. Don't use this video as the Holy Bible. This is my legal disclaimer, by the way. Uh, I'm not a lawyer. Um, I did not sleep at a Holiday Inn Express last night. Uh, I'm just a dude on a homestead who's had to put tire chains on before and wants to show you guys how to do it. So don't be like, he said, uh, I'll be like, I didn't say nothing. Uh, anyway, I'm rambling. But uh, let's get to putting some tire chains. I want to show you guys how to do that. All right. Okay, so this is my big box of chains. Uh, got this at Walmart. Um, nothing super special about it. Wasn't overly expensive. Uh, if I can open the container. I think it was right around 100 bucks. Um, the price is going to vary based on the size of your tires. Uh, and then I also have this premium, premium, uh, arm, multi-arm tighteners. So those help hold it on the tire, uh, just sort of really snug it up so that the chains aren't, uh, I guess I shouldn't pull the chains out while I'm trying to talk to this, aren't really, uh, flapping around or have a risk to come up. So, sort of what comes out, this is the biggest set. Just because uh, this truck, I guess, is considered the largest tire size. So let me get this laid out. Uh, I'll go through that with you. Um, yeah. Okay. So we're going to take the chains. We're going to lay them out so that we get rid of all of the twists and all of the turns in them. Which can sometimes take a while to sort of hammer out. Okay, so we got all the twists and turns uh, pulled out of this thing. Um, it's laying nice and flat. What you also want to make sure is that your hooks there are some hooks here where they bend the chain over. You want to make sure they're on the outside. You don't want that rubbing against your tire. It could cause a puncture. Hopefully you guys can see me. So I've laid the chain out uh, nice and flat. All the kinks are out of it. None of like this mess or any of that. So nice and flat. We have a cam tightener. This thing here. So we need to make sure that's on the outside. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the chain and we're going to flip it over and lay it over the tire. And I'll show you guys that. You want to make sure this is on the outside just so you don't drive over it because we are going to drive a little forward. And then we'll flip it around and we'll hook the chain on. Um, so we'll sort of get that on. I'll show that to you guys and we'll go from there. Okay, so here we go. Alright, so cam lock on the outside. Lay the chain in over the tire.
So we'll take our chain, get it flat. So it's started underneath our tire. Make sure it's evenly spaced. And what we'll do, we'll go ahead and pull our, our vehicle forward. We'll drive over the chain a little bit and then we'll loop around and we'll hook that on. So big key right now, you want to make sure this is, uh, this is good and balanced. So we have a pretty good situated around the tire. You want to make sure these clips are on the outside so that you're not putting pressure on the sidewall and potentially puncturing your tire. Uh, not good. So let's go ahead and uh, start the truck up and move forward. Okay, as you can see, we've pulled forward. Our chain is now under our tire. Uh, you wanna go ahead and reach around the back. There's a hook on the back. Hopefully you saw it earlier. I'll highlight it in the video. You wanna make sure to hook the back part of your chain first. There's no way you're not getting dirty on this. Okay, so I wanted to bring you guys under this is the hook that you have to hook first. Uh, it's this, this is the end of the chain that we drove over. This is the hook that's attached to the piece that was on the top of the tire. So hook that first before you hook the outside uh, will make your life a lot easier, especially because the cam is on the other piece. So that's on the outside so that we have easy access to it. So let me show you that part. Okay, let me see if I can do this uh, on camera without fumbling it too much. So. To make the final connection, you want to take your cam, this piece here, hopefully my hands are on the way, your cam, this piece here, hopefully my hands are on the way, take some chains where it's, you know, fairly snug, uh, and then what you do is you take this, let the extra chain that you're not going to need slide down so it's out of the way. If you leave it up here, it'll get pinched in the cam. So feed the cam through, turn it up this way. I have a small screwdriver here. Gives me just a little bit of leverage. You pull this little pin up, you flip it up, get a push, 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 push. Okay, there we go. So you get that fed over, that down and around. Tire's nice and, our chain's nice and snug on the tire. Uh, our cam is locked in place, and I'll show you how to do the uh, chain tighteners. Okay, so these are great. Also got these at Walmart. I think they're like 14 bucks. They're so much better than the, the junk ones that come in the actual kit. So you just want to sort of make sure that they're evenly spaced out. Uh, you know, on some of these, you know, like look, it lines up with the lugs. You can kind of use those as guides. So just sort of hook them on. Make sure that you, you know, evenly space them out. And it's just sort of like that. You want to make sure that they're good and tight. This really pulls the chain down tight on the tire. Uh, keeps it from flapping around, you know, coming off, just beating up your, uh, beating up your truck. So you guys saw me put the tire chain on the front tire of the truck. Uh, so in that scenario, let's say it's just you and the truck. Maybe you have some friends in the truck. I don't, that'd be great because then they could have the freaking chains on. But uh, so you're just out and it's just the truck. You're not towing anything, for example. So uh, I'll put the chains on the front tires. Now in that scenario, it's fine. So you'll have steering power. You'll have pulling power. Um, your front transfer case will let you do that. Um, if you have a load on the truck, for example, uh, let's say you have a horse trailer, a camper, anything like that, I will put the chains on the back. Um, and the reason for that is your rear ends in most of your vehicles, your SUVs, your trucks, your, your whatever, are designed to sort of handle that type of load. Um, if you put the chains on the front, yeah, you'll have a lot of steering power and you can probably stop um, and that's fine. But if you get going and your tire's spinning and suddenly they bite, 
there goes your transfer case. Um, transfer cases are typically smaller than rear ends, um, so they're more prone to blow if you blow, 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 blow if you uh, put a sudden force on them or a sudden load to them. They're not designed for that kind of impact, that, that sort of you know, torque and power um, with a sudden start, stop, whatever. Uh, you blow the gears and just basically grenade the thing. So uh, if you have a load and you're towing, put the chains on the back. If it's just driving, um, it's just you're trying to like, let's say get up over one of these big passes, Teton Pass, uh, you know, any of the other ones that are around, um, put the chains on the front and pull yourself up over the hill uh, and have that steering power and then get back down in. So. For those of you not from here, they have pull off designated areas for chains. They have lights and everything else to tell you when it's time to have chains. Um, sometimes they'll say snow tires are fine, uh, but make sure you drive around with chains. Like it can really like get you out of a bad situation. So um, I'll go over a kit in, in an upcoming video, sort of what I drive around with in the truck as far as like for cold weather, if I were to get stuck or the truck were to break down or I needed to wait for rescue, um, there's quite a kit. So I'll put a video together for what that is. We'll do it in another one. This video is already running long enough uh, and I ramble, so apologies. But you saw how the tire goes on. Um, go to Walmart. Everybody has a Walmart. I know people love Amazon. Uh, it's fine. You can get one from Amazon too. Whatever. I don't have anything against Amazon. I'll put a link for this kit in Amazon. Um, I got mine at Walmart just because... Uh, we were going down to Jackson Hunt Buffalo and I knew the pass was closed and it was getting ready to open uh, So I needed to have them on hand. So that's where this kit came from whole thing I'm gonna say it was like 114 bucks. It came with one pair two chains uh, So I'll put both of those on the front tires when I'm just driving around and the back tires if I'm towing Eventually, I'll get around to buying another kit um, I just don't tow enough over the passes that I really need to worry about it right now so, all right, long story, long-winded uh, nonsense. So hopefully you guys learned something. Any questions, uh, put them down in the comments. Let me know, I'll answer your questions. Um, like, subscribe, it makes all the difference, helps the channel. I, Whitney's been telling me to tell people that. So there you go, I'll put it down there. Please like, please subscribe, um, and I'll catch you guys later. All right, bye.